about those Qing Dynasty and Republic of China bonds. It turns out that before 1938, the Chinese government issued trillions of dollars worth of bonds. But after the Communist Party took over, they claimed these bonds were obsolete. But there's a group based in Tennessee called the American Bondholders Foundation. They say their members hold $1.6 trillion worth of these Chinese bonds, and that China, as in the People's Republic of China, should pay. They say the PRC claims to be the sole government of all of China, including Taiwan. But at the same time, China refuses to honor its obligations to pay on the defaulted sovereign bonds, citing that they were issued by the ROC. They can't have it both ways. Here's where the story gets wild. The Chinese Communist Party actually did pay off some of those bonds, but just once. The party paid out on bonds held by British investors in 1987 as part of the Hong Kong handover deal. That was negotiated by former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. And here's where the story gets even wilder. President Trump, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, and U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross have met with the American Bondholders Foundation. The group is trying to convince the Trump administration to demand payment for those bonds as a way of getting leverage against Beijing. They argue that because Beijing previously paid off some of the debt, but not the rest, they are in selective default and should not be able to issue more debt until they pay up. And I totally agree. Look, the party claims Hong Kong, Xinjiang, and all of the South China Sea based on Qing Dynasty territorial rights. So shouldn't they be on the hook for the Qing Dynasty's responsibilities too? If not, maybe we should stop recognizing their claim to Hong Kong. Thanks for your really interesting question, Alex.